Full frame lenses are expensive and after switching from the Panasonic GH5 Mark II and GH5S to the Sony system, these are the lenses that I have chose to pair with my a7 IV and a7S III right here for my content creation job and my street photography hobby. So let me tell you what lenses I've picked and why I've chose them because they are all great lenses and they are not all of them G Masters. Welcome back in the studio guys, I am Flash and I am filming this video on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 because all my lenses and all my cameras are disassembled right now, are on the desk and uh, I hope you will enjoy the quality that the Osmo Pocket 3 produces because it is great. Also for the sound I am using the DJI mic that is included in the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 uh, creator combo and let me start with my favorite lens which is right here and it is the first lens that I've got for my Sony a7 IV and first I've got the a7 IV as a photography camera because I've tried to use the GH5 that I have uh, had back in the days and it was struggling at night, it, it was struggling to autofocus in uh, low light conditions and that's why I've made the decision to switch to Sony full frame and I've got the A7 Mark IV which I have right here and it was my first Sony body, Sony full frame body and this was the lens that uh, I've got to pair with it and also it is my favorite and it is the Sigma 85mm f1.4 it is a great lens it has some weight to it it is not that light it is very sharp it makes the camera feel a bit heavy a bit front heavy you know why <laughs> there is a lot of glass inside of this lens and without this glass it cannot produce that nice image that you can see. I was deciding between the 85mm from Sigma and the 85mm G Master 1.4 but I decided to go with Sigma after seeing a lot of YouTube reviews because the image quality again is absolutely amazing, the sharpness is where it needs to be and the price was a lot better on the Sigma. This is my favorite lens and also my first Sony E-mount lens and it is great, you might wanna... Oh, how smooth is the focus ring? I didn't use it that much, but it is very, very smooth. Uh, yeah, you might wanna um, check this lens out if you wanna go for an 85mm for portraits, for street photography, shooting cars, shooting b-rolls and uh, also uh, detail shots for your uh, b-roll if you are a content creator. This lens is absolutely amazing. Let's move on to the next lens that I've got for the a7 IV and this right here is the lens that I use on a daily basis. It lives on my a7 IV right here on the, on the desk as a face cam, webcam, how do you want to call it? Uh, there's no problem. And this is the Sony 20mm f1.8 G not G Master, but the build quality of this lens is like a G Master. To be more precise, the build quality is identical to the 16 to 35 G Master Mark II from Sony that uh, they released uh, a year ago. And this is the lens that I've got after getting the 85 mm because I found myself in the situation where I wanted to film myself to vlog with the a7 IV and I couldn't do it with the 85 because I need to put a tripod in front of the door uh, to have a tight shot and it was too tight. After doing some research I went with the 20mm and it is a really great lens and somehow affordable when you compare it with the 24mm G Master and the 24mm is too tight when you activate the active uh, stabilization in the camera so 20mm you can do it, you can vlog with it, uh, it is tight after um, setting uh, the camera to active uh, steady shot but it becomes like a 24mm anyway 
sharp lens, not that heavy. Uh, the size, I think this lens has the best size for a lens. Yeah, yeah, from, from all the lenses that uh, I've got, this is uh, the best size, best weight, best everything when it uh, is on the body. I really don't know why they didn't make it a G Master, but uh, the color of this logo doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I, I, it is curious because the lens is sharp and uh, it has the same characteristics that the G Master lenses have. So yeah, um, who knows? Sony knows better. But this is the second lens I have got for the Sony E mount. And let's move on to the third one, which is right here and this is the 35 millimeter f 1.8 from sony not g not g master not anything uh, i paid for it somewhere around 500 bucks on black friday and it is a really nice lens very well constructed in my opinion uh, focus ring that uh, it's uh, smooth enough and uh, of course some uh, basic controls on the lens like an F to MF switch, a button and nothing more. It is a simple lens but uh, very sharp, very nice image quality. Also the autofocus is quiet, it has good motors on it and or in it uh, and it is a really nice lens for beginners, for uh, the persons that uh, just uh, start their journey into the Sony uh, full frame system and uh, it is a really inexpensive lens in my opinion and very good 35 millimeter uh, not too wide not too tight but perfect for talking heads and I usually use this lens for street photography in the studio for a B angle. Yeah, it does the job uh, pretty well. So the next lens that I've got for the Sony E mount is this right here. And this is a very nice lens. I've got it because it was at a very, very good offer and I couldn't resist. And I knew that this lens should be here in the studio. Uh, because when you need it, it is very nice to have it. And this is the 90mm f2.8 macro G OSS lens from Sony. I've used it for street photography. You can check out the POV that I made with this lens when I took it out of the studio in the city to take some photos. And uh, it is also great. It was great out there, but it is really nice in the studio when you want to take some very, very close detailed shots of some products like the scroll wheel on a mouse for example and you wanna go very 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 tight with your um, how do you call it framing okay uh, very tight framing uh, very close and very sharp I think this is the the most sharp lens that I have in my kit right here taking it outside might be not that comfortable since the lens is very big very heavy very long but it is great this is the way that you switch from autofocus to manual focus on this lens and it is really nice really precise uh, smooth enough the fifth lens that i've got is right here and it is the sony 16 to 35 millimeter g master mark ii and this is the lens that lives on the a7s3 and since i've got it i never uh, took it out uh, of the body because the lens uh, is absolutely amazing for okay uh, absolutely amazing for any type of um, vlogging talking headshots um, b-rolls because when you go to 35 millimeter it is uh, tight enough to get some nice uh, b-rolls here in the studio and I have on it the Nisi 1 to 5 stops variable ND filter and uh, it is an amazing lens very expensive I don't recommend you to get this lens unless you really need it if you don't need the um, uh, the versatility of this zoom range 16 to 35 or the wideness of the 16 millimeter and 
of this lens, uh, you should really go for the 20 millimeter. But I wanted something very versatile to have with me all the time and to accomplish not only vlogging, but also the B-roll stuff, the behind the scenes stuff that I film here or outside. And this is the lens that allows me to get only this camera out with me and have or um, can do everything with it so yeah i don't need to bring uh, two cameras like um, the a7s3 with the 20 millimeter and then the a7 IV with the 35 millimeter for example or the 85 millimeter to have everything covered so yeah it is a really nice lens but it is on the expensive side so let's move on to the <laughs> latest and maybe not the greatest lens in my kit but this lens this tiny lens is amazing because <laughs> it satisfies my uh, street or daily photography hobby i am not a photographer i am a content creator for eight years and if you don't know me um, i encourage you to subscribe because here on my uh, new channel i will post uh, and i try to post more often but i will post uh, tech related stuff from the studio so please consider subscribing if you like computers audio stuff cameras and uh, who knows uh, what more we can do here in the studio because uh, usually i post anything that i like and uh, anything that uh, i do back to the lens this is the 40 millimeter f 2.5 from Sony and it is a really really small lens and I've got it for um, only for street photography but I think that I will use it for some uh, b-rolls maybe sometimes the 35 millimeter is too wide but uh, 50 I think it will be too tight and this 40 looks very natural and I really like uh, what gets out of the a7 IV because until uh, today after I've got it, it uh, was sitting on the A7 IV and it never left this body. I've got it everywhere with me from, I don't know, going to eat outside to uh, going for a street walk to take some uh, photos and so on. So being that small, uh, it makes this kit uh, be uh, very compact and uh, it is easy to carry everywhere. And uh, this is the best thing about it because the best camera that you can have is the camera that you have with you at the right moment so maybe i don't want to take this lens with me when i take my lunch break for example and this is very light it is way sharper than i expected and since it is an f 2.5 i will consider it to be great in low light because I consider a good low light lens anything that is under f 2.8 and there's a lot of lenses out there that are affordable and they are under f 2.8 aperture and of course the a7 IV, a7 s3 are amazing I wouldn't be scared let's say about any of these lenses uh, performance in low light and these are all the lenses that I have in my kit and right now I will start reassembling my cameras because the 20 millimeter needs to go on the a7 IV right there as a face cam and the 40 millimeter needs to go right here on the a7 IV that I use for street photography uh, thumbnails and uh, other stuff in the studio when I need two cameras the weather ceiling is very tight on this lens but uh, yeah sometimes you need two angles and i need to have the cameras ready so yeah guys if you want to check the 16 to 35 video it is up on the channel and it is the last video that i have posted so go watch it and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video tell me in the comments what is your favorite sony lens and again i will tell you that my favorite lens is the 85 f1.4 which is not from sony it is from sigma but sigma makes uh, really high quality lenses